We preview the Green Bay Packers season, tell you if they're going over or under 10 and a half wins, and let you know how to take home $1,000 this NFL season. And it all starts right now. What's going on, everyone? It's Matt from Grandstand Betters, and last year we cashed on 70% of our season win total prediction, so we thought, why not run it back here in 2022? And we're also excited to announce that the signups for our second annual NFL betting contest is now open over at GrandstandBetters.com. The link is in the description. Go sign up for free and have yourself a chance to win $1,000 in other great prizes during the NFL season. But without further ado, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smack that like button, because it is time to dive in to the Green Bay Packers season preview. And the Packers, they have a season win total of over under 10 and a half wins. Now the Green Bay Packers really choked last season in the divisional playoff game against the 49ers. They had a blocked punt return for a touchdown with four minutes left in the fourth quarter and ended up losing 13 to 10 after going 13 and four and gaining the number one seed in the NFC. Now, of course, the biggest reason for all the success as usual was their quarterback and four-time MVP, Aaron Rodgers. He had another 4,000 passing yards on the season and 37 touchdowns, which insanely is only six best in his career. Now, what really hurt this offense coming into this season, though, was losing wide receiver Devontae Adams in free agency. He led the team with over 1,500 yards and 11 touchdowns. Their starting wide receivers now are Alan Lazard, rookie Christian Watson, who is coming off a knee injury, and Sammy Watkins. Roger still has his trusty right hand man Robert Tanyan at tight end but he's also dealing with an injury right now not an ideal situation for Rodgers so we're expecting them to rely a little bit more on the run game this season Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon they are the perfect backs for this though they ended up splitting handoffs last year with Dillon actually taking more than 16 attempts than Jones this year, we expect them to incorporate a few more split back formations where Dylan uh, takes the brunt of the handoffs and Jones splits off for screen passes and serves as that release valve for Rodgers. Regardless, though, of how they use these guys, they're going to need a good year from both of them to help Rodgers carry this offense. Now, defensively, the Packers were 9th in yards given up per game and 10th in pass defense and 11th in run defense. Another solid season from that side of the ball. But in the offseason, uh, things did not go well for them with players leaving for free agency. Some of their most notable losses were defensive edge rusher Zadarius Smith, who signed with the Vikings, cornerback Isaac Yadam, who signed with the Texans, defensive tackle Kingsley Kiki, who signed with the Cardinals, and safety Henry Black, who signed with the Falcons. Now, normally this would be very bad for teams losing all that talent, but the Packers have always been very deep defensively. They had 14 guys with over 30 tackles last season, 9 guys who had an interception, and 23 players who played in 10 or more games. The Packers, they did do a good job filling those holes in free agency. They signed defensive lineman Jaron Reed from the Chiefs, who will be a big presence on the defensive line, and safety Dallin Levitt, who should serve as a solid backup to Adrian Amos. Now, in the draft, they also drafted two very solid defenders with their first draft or first round draft picks. With the 22nd pick, they selected linebacker Quay Walker out of Georgia. And with the 28th pick, they drafted college teammate Devontae Wyatt. Now the Packers, they do not have the best group of wide receivers this year. But when you have a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers who throws the ball in the right place at the right time, it really doesn't matter. Remember, Tom Brady did this several years in New England and still took the Patriots to the playoffs almost every season. Green Bay, they have the 22nd hardest schedule in the league this season. Now, it's hard to bet against a guy like Rodgers, and with the easy strength of schedule that they have, I think we are going to, I think it's going to be close, but we are going to take the Green Bay Packers over 10 and a half wins this season. Like I said, I think they're just going to squeak by and get 11. 
Now, the NFC North Division previews, they continue this week. We have the Lions and the Bears coming up, and then we head out to the NFC East, starting with the Cowboys. But in the meantime, don't forget to sign up for that annual NFL betting contest at GrandSamBetters.com. We're giving out great quarterly prizes, and the grand prize is going to be $1,000. As always, though, sit back, relax, and if you're a Green Bay Packers fan, honestly, just enjoy the rest of Rogers' era because when it comes to an end, it's going to be a little rough.